Are you eating some cheese? You got, you got yogurt on your face. And you're feeding yourself your cheese. And you got your little bites. I bet you like some waffle bites this morning. Huh? You gonna have some waffle bites? Happy Saturday afternoon, friends. Mm -hmm. You guys busy? Uh-huh. 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 I'm making a house. Uh-huh. And what are you making? I'm making a helicopter park. A helicopter park? That mm -hmm. sounds like fun. Every boy needs a helicopter park. So guys, we are rolling into Saturday afternoon. Travis and Zion have gone out because you know how I just got that my new dream refrigerator to replace my other one that's going in the garage and all that. Anyway, my oven went. If we have to replace the the wall oven, that's fine. But I really, I was holding out. I want to do double Wait, ovens. Yeah, was, and I don't want to do double it. ovens until I do something different with my kitchen. You know, things stack upon one another. So, Travis and Zion took my old oven apart. And it looks like it's possibly just the fuse in the oven. Because the last time I used it, I had it on. It was like a three or four hour self-cleaning cycle. And you know my ovens get dirty. So, they have gone out to get a new fuse. Some more salt for our water filter. Those kind of, oh, air, air conditioner filters so I'm giving you the whole list they've gone out to do that and uh, Naomi and Gabriel are working on their bedrooms right hi, now hi, hi sweetie because grandmother is on her way so the other project that Travis and Zion are gonna get started on are our new IKEA bookshelves so hopefully I will be able to give you some glimps glimpses of that this weekend I'm gonna go now some of my gardens are getting out of control with some weeds we've had so much rain so we're gonna do some weed polling bookshelf building, helicopter house making, and uh, there's, oh, and then I have one of my good friends is coming over and she's just gonna hang out and sit with me on my porch and we're gonna just chill and have some mom, mom chatting this afternoon. So, happy Saturday. In this garden, we had some of this grass transferred around over here, this pompous grass, but you can see where I've got some things coming up. So, I'm gonna, go through and get those up now. Okay, you may not be able to tell, but I have been pulling a bunch of stuff from here. I'm gonna move on to the front of the house now. So here's how it looks after I at least got the, the roaming grass and such out of the rocks. Lots of little things growing that shouldn't be growing. This part of the garden is just getting taken over by so many little things growing up and look, stuff even growing up the front of my porch that should not be there. So it's a pretty big, weeding project but gonna do it so Daniel and I sit down sit down let's show our friends what we found whoop great big frog great big frog woo what we do when we find different frog. little wild animals is they might visit in a bucket for a bit and then we let them go happy mm. Saturday frog such an invasive climbing mess back there so I'm gonna get all that out now so I had to take for a break for a few minutes to get the oven serial part numbers and such for Travis and Zion. And, uh, and then I got sitting for a minute and then I answered a message from my friend. She's actually almost here. So I'm gonna have to stop my gardening from now. It sounds, uh, this sounds so silly because during different seasons I've been such an avid gardener, but I have so much weeding and work to do. I had landscapers come in April and I haven't touched it since then and I can tell. I think I may end up having to do like a whole vlog on me getting these gardens back together. It might have, that might have to happen. I don't know today. We shall see how the vlog goes, if I'll be able to get to it or not. But I wanna show you the state of my kitchen right now. Yeah, so right now we got uh, tools, we got an oven, we got the shelving, we got the oven door. We've just uh, got it all torn up. So quick uh, early Saturday evening check-in. Our friends stayed for about two and a half, three hours. Now you was fine. See, I was fine, but then mama wasn't looking at me. So I'm gonna lodge a complaint. Anyway, our friends stayed for a couple hours. Travis and Zion are back. They're working on those shelves. Yay! And I am working on grilling. We had defrosted 10 pounds of chicken day before yesterday, I think, and it's just been hanging out in the refrigerator. So we're gonna grill that chicken up tonight. I'm just gonna show you what I'm putting on the grill. So I washed this chicken and we flipped it in some olive oil. I did salt and pepper on one side, flipped it over. Gonna put salt and pepper on this side and then get it on the grill. And I also have a watermelon I'm gonna chop up 
and we still have a few strawberries left from last night and some grapes. So that sounds like it's gonna be dinner. So here is how our chicken is working out. I'm still waiting for three more pieces to reach the right temperature, and then we will be throwing dinner together. Several of the kids are already eating, but here's an example of Gabriel's plate. He's got his grapes and strawberries and salad and chicken. So I just realized these bookshelves are coming together, and I better show you guys what's happening. Uh, so yeah, our laundry overflows in baskets into this room. Those are the shelves coming together boxes of other things if you haven't seen it yet i will uh, pop up a, a card here for you to see my first ever trip to ikea where we bought these billy bookshelves and you can see we have some height room so we have eight foot ceilings and these shelves are going to be just a little under seven foot so that will be really nice though because it's going to give me like a nice tall shelf on the top does that make sense yes i can still use the top to put things at first i thought that they would be taller and then we would remove the crown molding around the front and kind of make them look like build in built ins we may be doing that with the molding along the floor but um we're not taking them all the way to the ceiling which it's all still fine just get my shelves up right yay so guys i am taken Benjamin here to get him cleaned up but here's how they're coming all of my hopes and dreams Travis said all of them I said well all of my bookshelf hopes and dreams we're gonna put got a bracket to do a corner one down there I can't uh, point because I don't have another hand right now but this is the progress there's some other ones that are gonna end up coming in this area Good morning guys. It is, well it's actually Sunday afternoon now, but Travis is going to do uh, waffles for the kids and such with this Bisquick. And I actually got this Paleo approved pancake and waffle mix at Costco the other day. And I'll show you on the back here if you're watching carbs, etc. So 16 grams of carbs and then of course you subtract the fiber. So that's 11 carbs for every two to three pancakes. So yeah. that falls within even Trim Healthy Mama approved limits there. There's no added sugar. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to try this out for myself today. It was, um, I believe about $14 for this 42 ounce pouch. So I'm gonna give it a go. Another thing for Travis to look at, uh, light's not coming on in here, but I'll show you in the dark how far they got last night. So this is the new secretary desk that I got. And again, this is gonna be replacing this area over here. This was never intended to be a workspace, but over the last two years, Jaden has just set up shop and worked there. So I wanted to get this for him to uh, store his stuff and plus it'll go with the white bookshelves and I'll be doing something else with that cabinet. And then over here, you can see, uh, and Travis and Zion were up until, I don't know, 12.30 or one, I think. I mean, very late, working on the shelves. And even though I say that, they appear to have been, I'm gonna say fairly easy. They may not agree, but uh, it was easy for me because I was in bed eating Halo Top and watching House Hunters. How do you like that? So here's how the shelves are looking. Now they, um, and these two shelves are out in the middle. Of course, nothing is attached to the walls yet. Everything came with, and Ikea gives you safety materials to to attach things to the walls and everything, especially with young children. So this is showing uh, four, one, two, three, four of the big shelves, and then these two narrow shelves. I don't, Travis wants me to play with it, of course, and uh, commit before we attach them. Anyway, that's how things are coming along, and we'll just, uh, we're gonna pick, a, pick at this a little more this afternoon, but I will have another vlog coming out just totally dedicated to, like, the big reveal with all my books, because I have a mountain of books in boxes in my garage also. So yeah, it's gonna be lots of fun. And I'll show you uh, Ikea Confessions. This thing is my silly impulse buy. It is this little shelf bracket and it goes in this style shelving. And when I saw it, excuse the chip nail polish, when I saw it in, uh, in the self-serve warehouse where you pick things up, I was like, oh, it'll look so beautiful. But I was, you know, heat of the moment. I wasn't thinking that silly girl, it's not, uh, it's too, too long for this, the billies that I got. So I think I got four of them 
and uh, they were ten or so dollars each. So that gives me another reason, another excuse to go back to Ikea, hopefully this summer, and uh, I'll take those back. So these baskets, I got four of them. They do actually stick out a bit, but I think I'll be able to get away with that. They may have to end up going along the bottom shelf. I'm not sure, but I saw them and I liked them, and I think I think those I can get away with. These little these smaller baskets work lovely, and then I was just setting plants on here to uh, show you how lovely those look against the white. Here is one of our pot pie freezer meals I just got out of the oven for the family tonight. I'm gonna go make myself a low carb option, haha. -ha. But it uh, turned out pretty well. Looks like some of the filling came out on top of part of the pie crust. Just uh, must have shifted in freezing. Who knows, but we will still eat it and it'll still be lovely. And here's Gabriel's dinner plate. He's got some salad and pot pie. So we also, I gave all the kids salad with theirs and they're still on their first plate. They haven't asked for seconds or yet, but this is one of those, I believe it was like a 13 by 15 or so. It's one of my larger glass casserole dishes. And I'm often asked, you know, how, how many of these it takes to feed our family. Both of our teen boys have been gone for the day and the five kids ages 11 and under who are eating will probably each one a little bit more and they'll probably want some more salad so we will have very few leftovers from this i had a very small sampling travis had a small sampling we're actually going to eat something else in a salad tonight but one of these big casserole pans is pretty much what we need for dinner so guys really quick really quick because we got a lot going on right now but here are these shelves they are all secured to the wall and while I was doing some grilling, Travis and the kids got all the shelves on. I'll try to stand back to show you better. Don't those look good? I am so excited. I'm sure we'll be getting to those other ones tomorrow. Are these the books you picked, Daniel? Mm -hmm. Which Next one is a snake one. That is a snake book. Mm -hmm. We got Slither Snake. And then what other books do we have? We have Sammy the Seal. And then we have the Sneeches. But one little seal was not happy. He sat by himself. He looked sad. What is wrong, Sammy, said Mr. Johnson. I okay, help. friends, we have a f one more book of stories left. We're going to read the Sneetches. Anyway, camera battery is a flashing, and we've got a our week jumping into our Monday in the morning. So, Amelia, say good night, friends. Good night, friends. Woo! Bye, friends. Say, say good night, friends. Good night, friends. We're going to read stories. We're going to read stories. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.